The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman falls to Lenore Ryan by a final score of 24 to 7. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Mike Clowney here on the Domino's post game report. Mike uh, accounted well for yourselves. Much better performance than Limestone. Uh, but again, some crucial miscues in vital places end up hampering. Uh, the day against the Bears. What did you see that you liked out of your team? What needs improvement? You know, I think you talk about that continue improvement. I think the big thing I think I, I like is I think guys came out, you know, I think for the most part we played confident. I thought, you know, game plan execution-wise, I thought for the most part, you know, we, we had guys, you know, we challenged them all. We, you know, we don't have to be Superman. The big thing we got to do is do our job. So I thought for the most part, you know, during the game, you know, guys were able to do that. You know, and then I think the thing that sticks out, you know, we do have someone that, you know, doesn't handle some, you know, their job kind of the way, way, way we're supposed to. And then, you know, normally results in something for the other team. I think we had a couple of those where, you know, we wound up getting a good effort and, you know, defensively getting guys on the ground a couple of times. Um, offensively, you know, I thought, you know, moving the football at points in times, which was, you know, still kind of a continued improvement, able to score at the beginning. You know, uh, uh, other football game and put a couple other drives together. We still got a drive through there that we got to finish and get points out of. You know, we get the field goal blocked and then we um, get two field goals blocked and um, don't score there. And those, those are areas to where, you know, they give you that old, that extra little shot in the arm to kind of keep moving. Uh, it, it's, this was a weird game. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you, you really only had five or six drives. And this was a very, Low. I don't know that I've seen a game that was as low possession uh, as this game. Uh, and when you had two 10-play drives, that's what you alluded to with the block. You moved the ball well, methodical, converted on third downs, uh, uh, stalled out, but came away with uh, with no points. How, just can you put into words how detrimental those two possessions uh were to the outcome you know if you put it in words it's game changing i think you know especially like day and a half we score right there and you're within a score of the game and that's what we talked about at halftime you know coming back out and getting it to that point you know at that point you got a chance to to go win the football game uh defensively kendall williams was all over the place i can't think of the last time a defensive back had two sacks in a game plus another tackle for loss uh 13 stops what'd you see out of him on the back end kendall's consistent i mean he continues to show up to work every week you know, he's a tough kid, he's emotional, he loves playing football. Um, you know, he, he, he's really growing and developing really across the board, you know, and I'm glad we've got Kendall Williams on our team. Uh, offensively, Julius Cobbs continues to uh, to make up ground. Four catches, 99 yards, the long touchdown. What did you see from your transfer receiver? You know, I'm proud of Julius. You know, like we've talked earlier in the season about, you know, him coming in late and having to learn, you know, what we're doing. But as he gets more comfortable with things, his production numbers will start going up, and we expect to see him kind of continue to push those numbers as we continue throughout the season. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head football coach. Mike Clowney as the Eagles fall to the Lenore Rhine Bears by a final score of 24-7. to uh, seven. Mike, a, a second half where your starter, Jalen Myers, got injured. Uh, he played well, uh, struggled to move the football once he exited uh, the game. Uh, how, what difference did he make in his first career start? You know, I thought Jalen did a good job of commanding the offense. Um, even going in at, at halftime, the players, a lot of times they'll tell a story and you can just see, you know, they'll kind of gravitate to him, you know, kind of show some appreciation to what he had done the first half of the football game. The thing that you hate seeing is like when you – starting quarterback go out on a penalty play. You know, it's yeah. just that that, that kind of leaves a little bit sour tasting. You know. All right, turn your attention to uh, a matchup with the uh, Newberry Wolves. Graveyard is always a tough place to play. Uh, what do you have to do from this one to, to get ready for Todd Knight's Newberry team? We got to keep getting better. We got to keep believing. All right, Mike Clowney, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you next week at Setzler Field. Thank you. That's Carson Newman head football coach Mike Clowney. Domino's postgame report. Rolls on with chats from Julius Cobbs and Kendall Williams when we get back after this on the Eagle Sports Network.